What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all come, I'm Chrissy. And what? What? Hold up. It's been like a couple days. And every day that goes by that I don't post, it be feel like a whole week goes by. But don't worry, because every week a bitch finna be here. I will never go one full week without uploading, guys. Just saying. But I don't know. I just be feeling like every day that I don't post, be feeling like forever. I miss the y'all. Like, I miss y'all guys. Like, I love when y'all comment and shit. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this motherfucking video. So last night, Carmen and Corey threw some subliminals towards each other, which is not the first time, but this has led some people to believe that maybe they're not feeling each other. We have seen a lot between Carmen and Corey, and they have been through a lot, but honey, she has stuck beside him. She has stuck beside him, and they ain't, they ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what she want to do. But let's go ahead and see what Carmen and Corey posted. So a few things that were on Corey's story, somebody actually asked him, you cheat on Carmen again and this was actually before they posted the subliminal so I don't know what made the max that but he said are you going are you going to die tomorrow I mean like shit he could then somebody asked is cheating love I've stayed through it and I'm just tired and confused Corey said no us niggas just be weak at moments and don't think about our partner in the moment because we just want to be pleased but once you grow up you'll realize it's not worth it but it's up to the nigga to grow up sometimes it could be too late and you'll know when you're at your breaking point I just like I had to include that picture in because you know it's obviously ironic and maybe even eye-opening coming from the fact that he cheated himself so I feel like this gave more insight Sight to why he cheated and it seemed like based off of what he said he had his weak moments where he didn't really think about Carmen at the time which of course when you're cheating you're not thinking about your partner it could be a selfish act you know and during all those weak moments that he had he just wanted to be pleased and wasn't really thinking about anything else and didn't realize that it wasn't worth it. I mean, even with that insight, it doesn't really tell me why niggas just don't leave and why they cheat anyway. But it seems like, you know, maybe his cheating days are over. Somebody asked Corey, who is your celebrity crush? Which, <laughs> I don't know how he could have answered this any other way, but he said, my wife and added Carmen. Then a few hours later he posted this. On Facebook he said as a man stay focused. Don't let a woman be your downfall. We can be toxic sometimes but it's up to you to change. If you know in your heart you change but the woman still have insecure feelings and it's not working out it's time to move on for the best of both of y'all. She can find someone that'll heal her and you'll find someone that'll love you for the new you. It's life. Understand that part. And then he posted an emoji with the mouth having a zipper on it which means he ain't gonna say too much. And Carmen said, I want to be a cold hearted bitch sometimes and just don't give a fuck about no reactions, no feelings, no nothing. Preach. I've definitely felt like I want to be that cold hearted bitch, that emotionless bitch. But bitch, I'm too emotional and that's okay. Like, you know, you just gotta learn not to waste certain emotions on people. You know, there's levels to this. Like, how much energy, how much time, how much emotion do I really want to invest in bitches? You feel me? Because at a certain point, like, you know, you just find out that that's not you. Like, you're not the cold hearted bitch. You want to be because you have those emotions, so you want to be emotionless, but you just got to rock with how you are. You feel me? So, like, after a while, I just realized, like, look, I'm not that cold-hearted bitch, so how could I work with this, you know? How could I move on being the emotional ass bitch that I am? Then she said, I will never be nobody's downfall because I was the one who picked you up every time you fell. Every time you made dumb decisions when nobody else believed you, I was the one believing and supporting. Now they both kind of have a point and of course you can see that they were throwing subliminals at each other because they both mentioned some form of downfall. Now I feel like Carmen is right. I mean, she decided to stay beside him, so she was definitely there during his downfall rather than being his downfall. Mind you, this is all my opinion, but like Corey was his own downfall, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't know if Corey changed, right? I don't know if Corey really is a changed person. However, for Carmen, if you're deciding to stick beside him, you can't stick beside him and hold on to old feelings of who, who, who he was and what he did in the past because in reality niggas evolve every day not niggas but like you know niggas that's it us niggas like everybody evolves every day unless people want to be stuck at the place that they're at I mean we wouldn't know she wouldn't be the only person to know whether or not he really changed like you're around him every day but whether or not he actually changed that was a risk you were willing to take when you decided to stick with him so in Corey's defense I would say that like you know if he really changed if he really grew up if he really is trying to make this work then Carmen the person who decided to stay she can't hold on to those old feelings like you can't have insecure feelings however what Corey has done and his actions he gave her a reason to be insecure and you know getting over cheating is really hard to do I feel like you gotta go through therapy and the person just gotta be worth it above all means because
personally, if I were to get cheated on, I just feel violated. Like, I feel like I couldn't get past it. I'd always be thinking about you touching it on another woman, and it would never sit right with me. But hey, once again, you know this information. You choose to stick beside them then hey like you know what i mean but at the end of the day they just gotta work on their shit together i don't know what posting on social media did for them but like you guys gotta have that conversation and even if karma still has her insecure feelings that essentially corey has given her through his actions i don't feel like and i wouldn't essentially say myself that carmen was his, would be his downfall in that situation even if she has these feelings but i do understand that when niggas cheat even though they shouldn't have cheated at a certain point in time, even though they're sorry, they feel guilty, there's that anger of why you still have this resentment towards me, but like, it's just something that's hard to get over. Same time, if y'all choose to get over it and continue to be together, then y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. And then Corey went on his story to give some relationship advice. He was giving advice and saying that you shouldn't go for somebody for just the looks, you should go for somebody who makes you happy. For y'all to stop looking at ass and stop looking at a body. Like, bro, find somebody that really genuinely make you happy, bro. Like, a lot of women got ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop looking for looks, bro. Look for character. Like, that's why a lot of y'all are in an unhappy relationship because y'all looking at, y'all too busy focused on how good a person looks instead of, like, what that person brings to the table. Like, did that person make you happy? Did that person, did that person make you, like, bring that spark outside of you? Look for the person that make you happy. Not how the person look. I mean, of course, that, that matter too. But they find and they don't bring to the table and make you happy, they don't count. So he's saying, listen, every woman got an ass. Okay? Every woman got an ass. You know, they come with a set of cheeks and a set of nips. Like, you know, there's going to be women that look good, but that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean that it could give you the happiness that you're looking for genuinely in a relationship. And I totally agree with that. But I'm like, why are you saying this? Like, you know, this comes after you and Carmen have these subliminals, which side note, I feel like it's weird if y'all live in the same house with BTW. But this makes me question and wonder, did Corey get with Carmen for the looks? Was that the, you know, initiative at first? Like, hey, you look good. I'ma slide in on that or you look good I'ma ignore the fact that you know I don't really feel spark but you you know but you look good like you're good for my brand I don't know I feel like there might have been some truth to this and how Corey feels towards Carmen like maybe he just felt like he went after her for the looks but that's just like that that don't make no sense I feel like there was truth when he was talking about being in an unhappy relationship because you know he just posted the status kind of making it seem like Carmen was his downfall but I'm like could looks really be the only thing that sends you to a marriage with a kid for years like I mean I wouldn't even say looks I would say looks and YouTube to be honest but because you know there's a lot of YouTube couples that do shit for the camera and it's just for the camera it's just for the bill but I don't know hey he could have been given genuine advice but given the context of him throwing a sub at Carmen I don't really know, but that is in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment on what you guys think below. Do you guys think that Carmen and Corey are going to last as a couple? Do you guys think they're going to eventually break up and Carmen is going to leave? Do you guys think that Corey was with Carmen just for the looks? Comment on what you guys think below. Follow me on Instagram at Snapchat at Christy, two S's, two Y's. I love it. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, she the girl. Oh, yeah. She the girl. She the girl.